How can you create these responsive animated text reveals with CSS alone? Well, using CSS scroll driven animations. This is really neat. No JavaScript required, and this text sort of fills up as you scroll and it's responsive too. You can resize it and the animation will update and it didn't require any code changes. It still works as expected. You can even change the content too, which is kind of neat. But what's the technique here? So it's the same technique from a demo I created back in 2020, would you believe? And it's background position X transitioning. In this case, we'll be animating it, but it was the same deal here as a background image that spans multiple lines and you update background position X and you can create this kind of effect. In this demo, we're clipping the background to the text. So if we inspect this, and go to the span and then we want to find background clip and take that off here you can see so this breaks it down a bit there's three background images at play here and we have the first one is the highlight has commented and that's this bright white one and then there's this accent color one which is this kind of gray and then this default kind of like very uh, dull gray or dark gray that's like the default but what's actually happening here is we're animating the background position X of each image. So um, the first two go from minus 200 VMAX to zero. And here I've got some code that we can comment or uncomment. And then we can comment out our scroll driven animation code. And if we go back, you can see actually how this works. So what's happening is the background position is animating and this will be responsive. It will keep up with how we resize and how we how we change the content. So if we uncomment that back out and get rid of this code, then we've got our scroll driven version again. So how do you tie this to scroll? Well, the trick with a lot of these scroll driven animations is to use some kind of container as a trigger for the animation. And in this case, we're using the main element. So if we have a look at our markup, our section with our text lives inside this main container. And I'm setting the main to be a height of 300 uh, viewport height units in this case. And then we have our section, which is positioned sticky within the main. So when the main hits the top, the section will stick until the main goes out and then the section will go with it. And in that window is when we're going to do our animation. So if we go back, and I've got this little toggle here so we can see when it goes in and out. So this dashed line, <coughs> excuse me, this dashed line is the top of the main. As that hits the top of the viewport, then our animation starts, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, animates, finishes with this little fade in and then there's the end of our main as it comes or it starts to leave and that is that so how does the code look for that well it is here we set a view timeline and we're calling this section um, it could be main to be honest but that's on the main element and then we set our background position x on our span or our content editable. Uh, this underlying block width is set here in our custom properties, and we've just got it at 200 VMAX. Um, interesting part here as well is like we make sure that the background um, size Y is one line height, um, one line height unit. And then we make sure that we have the color set to transparent. That's how background clip text needs to work. And then we have two animations happening. So we have fill up and color in. <laughs> and they both use animation fill mode, both a timing function of linear, and they use the animation timeline section, which is the timeline or the view timeline we get from main, the view timeline being when it is part of the viewport. So we get access to it. And the timeline range is the important part here. So we're saying when main has entered 100%, um, start the animation of fill up, so filling the background position X, and finish when we hit cover 50%, when it's covered 50% of its scroll port, in this case it's the viewport, 
the second one, color in, is going to change the color from transparent to white. And that's going to start when the first one finishes. So at cover 50%, and it's going to be finished when it's time for the main to exit. Now, I have another demo here, which I created for some conference talks. And this shows how those different ranges work. So um, we're using a bit of Dom Toretto and Tokyo Scroll. <laughs> But this orange car represents an element, and as it enters its scroll port, this little like monitor window, you can see here entry, and then entry crossing, and then we start cover and contain. Contain is when it's contained within the scroll port, and cover is as it's covered. So contain hits 100, cover is at around 80, but then cover will become 100 as it exits, and exit starts as it exits. Um, for funsies, here is uh, Dom Toro speeding past, comes in at around uh, cover 15 and wins at about, I don't know, contain 70. But that's how the ranges work. I'll leave a link for that one down below as well. But back to this one, that is how those ranges work. So once you've tied it up, that is essentially the trick. Um, and then the neat thing here is that you can change sort of the the height of this element and it's going to work as you expect. So we've just changed the height. Now it's a much quicker scroll animation because the height of the main is shorter. Now, what do you do where you don't have support for scroll driven animations? Well, all is not lost. You could use some green sock. Here I've got a quick bit of green sock code. We're using scroll trigger and you take scroll trigger and you register it and then you just do the same thing here i'm updating a custom property that gets plugged into the background position and it updates to one and then we change the color to white so if i open firefox i can see it working so as i go down it scrolls and i get the nice little scrub and you still get the same effect that you wanted from before pretty sweet but Let's be honest, it's pretty cool that you can do this with CSS alone. Um, and just to prove it works with any content, uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, like and share. <laughs> and that should work. There we go. So, yeah, that is how you can do animated text reveals with CSS alone on scroll. Um, let me know what you think and uh, yeah, like and share. Stay awesome.